We are all sleeping on Phantom. That is what we posted to our X account on September 8th. Well, if you're sleeping, uh, chances are you've been jolted awake as Phantom since September 8th has seen a massive rally of around 44%, currently coming in at 56.26 cents for Phantom. There's a lot of exciting things happening on Phantom, a complete change, an upgrade, trying to make it the fastest blockchain in, in terms of time to finality that there is in the entire world in this video. We're going to talk about exactly what that is, what it's going to look like, and what are some key features that could potentially bring more developers, more activity, therefore pushing the price of the Phantom token up much higher. Again, Phantom currently sitting at 56.23 cents. You can see here on the monthly chart from a low of around 36 cents, Phantom has rallied 60 to 70% to its current price right now. If we zoom out to the one-year chart, it is climbing towards and it's taking out these highs, this high of 54 cents, this high of 52 cents. Will Phantom continue going up? We believe it will. And there is one reason why q4 is only a month away and that is when we are expecting the much anticipated upgrade to sonic so this is from the sonic labs blog what you need to know about phantom going to sonic so the sonic chain is a new layer one platform with a secure gateway to ethereum and provides the fastest settlement layer for digital assets with over 10,000 transactions per second and one second confirmation time, uh, the rumor is they're getting to like 600 to 720 milliseconds from, uh, from when you put it into time to finality, setting a new standard in the blockchain space. The ecosystem will be supported by a massive incentive program, including an airdrop, the innovator fund, and gas monetization. I want to hit on these three. I want to expand on them a little bit real quick. So as far as the airdrop goes... They're running a gem program around 190 million S tokens will be minted and airdropped to people who participate in the community. As far as the innovator fund, this is going to be around 90 or $120 million for projects that are looking to build on the new Sonic layer one, the formerly dubbed as Phantom. What are you going to build? Are you, if you got a cool idea, you now have the funding to do so compliments of Sonic labs. And the last one, which is gas monetization. This is very, very interesting. This is something that Near Protocol uh, started doing way earlier is Near Protocol was given 30% of the gas fees back to the developer of those dApps. Well, Sonic is taking it up three notches by giving you the developers 90% of the gas fees will go to developers. Why is that so important? A, it incentivizes developers to come build because not only are you, do you not have to spend money because you tap into the innovator fund, but you can also earn money consistently on a monthly, weekly, daily basis from the transaction fees if you build a badass dApp, which is the other reason, is you're incentivized to build great products, great projects that the user is going to want to use. Uh, so that is gas monetization. All these three combined sets up for a massive successful launch of the Sonic chain coming in Q4 of this year. And right on cue, scheduled for November slash December of 2024. So they'll be heading into the new year if all goes as planned with the Sonic chain versus the Phantom chain. Now, there will be a new token called the S token. It'll be native. Uh, it'll be a native token for Sonic. It has multiple roles within the Sonic network, such as paying for transaction fees, staking, running a validator, and participating in governance. Upon the launch of the new Sonic chain, Phantom holders will be able to exchange one Phantom token for one Sonic token. So it's a one-to-one -one conversion rate. Now, I do want to note, leading up to this conversion, you will see a lot of accounts posting links. Majority of them will be scams, okay? Do not lose your hard-earned money to a phishing link. Only follow the main Sonic Labs account. And even if something is posted there, wait, double-check, triple-check, make sure that the account has not been hacked, as this is typically what happens around a token migration or a new token launch. So there is absolutely no rush. Once Sonic goes live, the Opera mainnet will still be functional 
with the FTM token, but eventually you're going to want to go over, bridge over to the Sonic chain with the new S token. Now, the one, uh, one question here from the FAQs that I wanted to highlight is, will the S token have any inflation? So the S token will not experience inflation during the first six months after Sonic's launch. Following that period, we will be minting S tokens per previously approved governance votes to enable the airdrop ecosystem growth, and validator rewards. To ensure efficient use of any additional tokens, a number of new burn mechanisms and improvements are also outlined in the votes. Now, Andre Cronier, uh, one of the key voices in Phantom, DeFi, and, and Sonic, um, kind of touched on this, this gas monetization, right? The 90% of the gas fees going to developers. He posted this on X. Curious how so curious how much some of the top protocols in Ethereum would have been paid if Ethereum offered 90% gas fees to the dApps like Sonic will. If you were the dev at Compound, you would have earned $30.4 million. At Ave, you would have earned $87.6 million. Circle, $305 million. Tether, almost a billion dollars. And if you were the core developer at Uniswap, and Ethereum did the same thing Sonic is about to do, you would have earned yourself two and a half billion dollars. This is the benefit and the potential that we have with Sonic as the DeFi chain, as one of the fastest, if not the fastest to finality blockchains in the entire industry with a godfather of DeFi behind you. Um, I don't know how much more bullish I can make it, uh, make it seem like we are here for Phantom. But Phantom here, going back to the chart, we saw a beautiful breakout above this trend line. This trend line that has held strong since March of this year, consistently making lower lows and lower highs that all changed once that trend line was broken. This was broken on Monday, September 9th. We talked about this potential run here, this bump and run. Price breaks above. The key part here was going to be the retest of this trend line, which we have already. We have the retest, retest and just this absolute beautiful breakout from this inverse head and shoulders pattern. Now, how much higher can Phantom go? We know in previous cycles, Phantom ran in a matter of six months from two cents to over $3. Could we see some historic runs similar to what we saw in 2021? Potentially, yes. And as more speculation grows around the Sonic token and people start to participate uh, in the Innovator Fund and building dApps and migrating people over from Phantom to the Sonic chain, um, man, is there a project that you're more bullish on in the space other than Phantom? Let us know in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you next one. Peace.